see, this is why I told you guys, it's why guys hide in your value. Okay? You're a diamond in the rough. I told you guys. Okay? Pressure make diamonds. Put it in the chat, pressure make diamonds. I'm on my way. Nothing can stop me. See, the enemy, these people wish that you gave up. These people wanted you to give up. These people thought that you was going through a work bad time. They, they, they talked down on you. They hated on you. <laughs> they found out when you were the chosen one. There's nothing they could do to stop you. <laughs> That's what happened. Then, you know what's so funny is, is when they try to team up with you, you reading all the signs. Isn't it funny how you read all the signs? <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm sock it to you just like that. It's gonna, don't you just read the signs and you just read, you like read people like a book. It's like, okay. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Good, good afternoon. It's all about energy and vibe. So when, when the vibe ain't right, some people can be smiling in your face, and it, but, but their smile ain't real. And now that lady's real, smile was real. Now I'm not trying to say nothing to nothing. Now that's the lady's smile was real, genuine. Okay? But there are some people, you know, that just come into your life, and they just be filled with all type of negativity. Or they just be filled with all type of arrogance, all type of just... Sadness, loneliness, you know, trauma, you name it. They be trying to throw it all on you. Am, am I right or wrong? All right. The crazy part about it, then they then they depending on you. <laughs> These people are going to be dependent on you. But where were you at? Where were they at? Where were, where, where, were, where were you at when you needed their help? Where were they at when you needed your, their help? They were nowhere to be found. <laughs> they were trying to ask for money. They were trying... You know what I'm saying? You didn't you 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 was insufficient. You you wasn't big enough to help. You you didn't you you didn't you wasn't beneficial to them. And you gotta watch out for the people that that only want to kick it with you when it's beneficial to them and it's not mutually beneficial for both y'all. You know what I'm saying? They're not seeing the bigger picture, they're not seeing, oh, you guys working together. No. They seen that they were just using you. They seen, oh, I'm gonna put this person on the back burner. And then when you start getting, when you start getting all blown up, when you, when you start getting overbooked after being overlooked, what happens? Then they, then they want, then they get mad. Then the devil gets mad. The devil, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about the spirit of the devil. I'm talking about the people. I'm talking about the spirit of the devil. They get mad. Am I right or wrong? But no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I know this. Because the same same people that went against you, the same people that hated against you, the same people that prayed against you, the same people that, that thought that you were, you know, doing them wrong when actually they were doing you wrong. You know, when you point the finger, when people, when them, them comments point the finger, three's pointing back, back at them. You start to realize who's full of it and who's not. Because these comments, these comments know. They know. At the end of the day, read them like a book. All right, catch him like, catch him like a play. Read him like a book. See, God's gonna watch. See, God, God's gonna watch out for you. God's gonna watch out for the chosen ones. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't ever get mistaken. Okay, look can be deceiving. Oh, you might have this, that. You might have this in the third. You might, it might look a certain way, but your spirit is all messed up. We all go through things, but don't be walking around here with, with this type of arrogance. <laughs> You know, people walk around here all type of arrogance, like they don't need you. And as soon as they need you, they they bite. They gonna be biting the hand that feeds them. You know, they're not recognizing. They're not recognizing who you are. They're not. Rec they wasn't. They recognize you. They you had to prove it to them. You don't gotta prove nothing to nobody. Prove nothing to nobody. Prove nothing to no woman. Prove nothing to no man. The only thing you need to prove to is is the God. Period. So when you're going through your unfortunate situation, you ain't got to prove to nobody, oh, things are on the up and up so they can get along with you or they can talk to you or things are all right. Or, you know, baby, people always, who cares what people are thinking? Because these same people ain't helping you. These same people only want something out of you. You're only valuable. Nobody's saying, hey, man, you know, um, hey, sis, I know you're going through that. Hey, hey, brother, I know you're going through that. Let me go ahead and just call you and just let you know how I'm praying for you and you know just wanted to let you know has anybody told you how to have a good day has anybody told you today have a good day and God's with you 
Has anybody ever just told you that? Has anybody said, well, you know, I'm praying for you. You know, if there's anything that you need, you know, I've been there before. I've been in your shoes. You know, I, I you know, I'm trying to understand exactly what, you, what you're going through. But no, no, they don't. That ain't it. You know that ain't it. What they doing? They talking behind your back. They figuring out. They wondering, well, how come this person got it like this? How come this is like person like this? And they can't do. And the funny thing about it is, it's same people that's that want your help is stuck in a rut. Stuck in a rut. They gotta get out. They need your help. But it's all depending on how they treating you. And you gotta find it in your heart to you know forgive them for not for they not know what they do. Because not every chosen one understands another chosen one's situation. You got to be with your chosen one. You got to be around people that understand that uh, everything ain't going to go as planned. See, God, God plans, God plans prevail. When you plan as a human, you, prepare, you plan to fail. You want to succeed, but you plan to fail. Because really, in all actuality, we don't get to that mountaintop unless God gets us there. We don't get to where we're going unless God gets us there. So we can we can we can we can will our way through it, but if God ain't giving us our will to get through that, when we ain't getting there, that's what you guys got to understand too. So when these people, when when these situations come about, and these people are using you, and they're and they're treating you a certain way because they're not getting their way with you, because you know, let's be real, you put up, you put, you made it look good. They they wonder, they wonder, they're trying to see a flaw in you, and when they when they find a flaw in you and you so. You so um, unknockable that you admit your flaws. You admit with with what, what's got going on, and they might not even be flaws. They not they not flaws at all. God's gonna turn those things that you think is flaws into something fabulous, into something flawless. Okay, some you think they're flaws, but they're really flawless. Okay, don't ever get it confused. Life is too short to not think that your life is in an abundance. So when people think that you can't get things on your own or think that, you know, they're treating you a certain way just because you got something, God give it, God take it. Just remember that. You got to be humble at all times on both sides of the spectrum, whether it's the chosen one I'm talking about or it's the chosen ones I'm talking against because you know who I'm talking to. Okay. You got to be very, very, very careful in this time because there's going to be a lot of people trying to get close to you. And then when they find out they can't get close to you, what are they going to do? They're going to get mad. They're going to get frustrated. The devil's going to try taking over them. The devil takes over in spirit and tries to take over these people. Okay? And they might do some wicked things. And if it don't get, and if, and if it, but guess what? If it don't get to you, it definitely won't prevail. It, it definitely won't harm you. I know for a fact. Because you, you guys know that God got you, and your your anointings and your appointments got you protected. Okay, We're protected under the blood of the Lamb. Don't ever get it twisted. Okay. So this is just a little message for all my chosen ones to let you guys know that you guys don't worry about these people. Don't worry about these situations. God's gonna take care of it because God got you, and God got them too. You pray for them people. You pray for those situations to get better. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, and let me tell you something. Don't be afraid to praise God in public. Okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to shout his name. Don't be afraid to pray to tell people how what he's done for you. Because when it all is through it all, he's the only one that's gonna do for you. And you chosen and you know that. So it's your boy. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Appreciate every single last one of y'all. Alright, let's hit 2K by the end of this month. Alright? All right, well, peace.